G'day guys and welcome back to the channel. I've got a fun video today. This is gonna be the start of a series that I do over about 12 weeks where I'm gonna be chasing speed. Now, I did try and get a bit of speed about six months ago and I got to the point where I was swinging about 114 miles an hour consistently. And now my swing is hovering around 109, 110 on a good shot. So what I thought I'd do is I'd do a 12 week series called Chasing Speed. And in this 12 weeks, I'm gonna try and do everything I can to get myself up to 170 miles an hour ball speed. Although I have a Foresight GC2, I'm gonna be using this. Now, this is the PRGR. This is a great little device, and I highly recommend anyone who has a Garmin R10 to get one of these devices, because it can do things that the Garmin R10 and the Foresight products can't do, and that is read swing speed without hitting a ball. In this series, I'm gonna be using the speed sticks, and I'm gonna be going through their program. I'm gonna be trying to build up speed, and what I'm gonna try and get to is 170 miles an hour ball speed. That's my goal. I'm gonna be using the ball speed measurements from my PRGR. So this is the big thing now. I'm not gonna be using the GC2 measurements for this. I'm really gonna be using this PRGR. Without further ado, let's get some baselines. I'm gonna head out to a pretty famous hole. I've also got to mention uh, one of my mates, Jez. He's the one that kind of came up with this idea. He was like, why don't you do a fun video where you just max out speed and see how far you can hit the ball? And I thought, okay, I'll do that. But also I'm gonna add the element of a 12 week series and try and build up speed and see how fast I can get. All right, so the course I'm gonna be using, also uh, recommended by Jez, is the 18th hole at Pebble Beach. Very famous hole. There's a tree on the right hand side that we can kind of use as our, our gauge. We'll play off the black tees as well. Let me make sure there's no wind. So no wind, uh, black tees and fairway firmness. You know what? Let's use Lynx fairways. We're really gonna try and max out this distance. Okay, so like I said, this series is all about chasing speed. So let's have a look down here where we can aim. Okay, so to carry that tree, we're looking at around 282 to 285 yards because it's got to have that descent angle. So to get 285, you're looking at about 165 miles an hour ball speed. So let's see how we go. All right, off to a good start. We hit 165 ball speed on the GC2, which is really good. <laughs> Look at the fairway links, I love that. Okay, so. For reference, on the GC2, that was 165 miles an hour ball speed. Um, the PRGR didn't pick it up. What the PRGR did tell me is that was 109 miles an hour swing speed. So really not that quick. That was the first driver swing of the day though. So, okay, so really good effort on that one. So total length 315, carried it 281, and we had 165 mile an hour ball speed, which is quite quick. Oh, not a good swing there. Okay, so not a good swing. We had 162. Okay, for reference, I can tell you what the PRGR did on that one. It wasn't a good swing, um, but this is what the PRGR said. Hold it up here. So we had 109 mile an hour swing speed, 161 for ball speed and 279 for carry. So carry distance pretty close to what we see from the Foresight GC2. Okay, let's ramp this up, come on. Okay, that was hit hard. 165 and a half ball speed on the Foresight. Okay, we had 164, that was actually quite good. So I'll show that one now. So that one there, third swing of the day, 111 miles an hour uh, club speed, 164 ball speed, and look at the carry distance, 285. The carry distance was 284 with the Foresight. This PRGR, I'm gonna do a video on this as well, this versus the Foresight versus the R10, because I think this is a really good device to get accurate carry distances. Okay, so 165. I'm gonna take the PRGR, like I said, so 164 is the benchmark so far, third swing of the day. Okay, so it looks like 165 is me pretty much topping out at the moment. Um, another really good drive. Uh, we had 111 miles an hour club speed. The PRGR missed the ball speed on that one. 
but I mean, 111 looks like that's me topping out. Okay, a little toe hooky. Oh no, stay up. Kick. And that's in the water. Uh, for swing speed, we had 110. We had 163 for ball speed. I'll just show that just so you guys can see. 110, 163, 284 carry on the PRGR. So, I mean, the ball speed seems to be matching the GC2 quite well. Okay, let's hit a good one out there. Let's wind up. Let's do a nice big turn. Oh, 168 ball speed. That is huge for me. I don't think I've ever, I've only hit 170 twice. Okay, and the PRGR picked it up. So 112, 166 and 290 carry. Look at the carry distances, they've been spot on. Um, so that one's definitely the biggest one by far. That's three miles an hour quicker. Go. Okay, 165 again. That was hit pretty hard for me. 165 and a half and 164 on the PRGR. I'll just show that again. I think it's good to show this because um, I might set it up differently in the next few videos so then this is already on the screen, but we had 111, 164 and 286 as a carry. And um, the carry distance is 286 from the foresight. Okay. Let's do one more. I'm really gonna try and wind up on this one. Um, this'll be it. And then we'll have our baseline driver numbers. Oh, I didn't hit it good. And I think that's in the water. Yep, definitely in the water. Okay, we got club speed on that one is 112. So that's pretty good. Okay guys, so to wrap that up, we had a max club speed of 112 a max ball speed from the foresight being 168, and looking at the PRGR, it was 166. So for baseline numbers, the best that I could achieve there was 112, 166, and 290 yards carry. So that's me. The foresight interestingly had the ball speed an extra two miles an hour. We are gonna go off the PRGR. So that's our baseline numbers there. 112 club speed. 166 ball speed and 290 yards carry. Hopefully at the end of this 12 weeks, those numbers improve. I'm gonna try and get to 170 ball speed consistently and swing speed, I'm hoping we'll get to about 115, 116. And that'll probably be the quickest that I've swung it. If you guys like that, let me know. If you wanna see more videos like this, let me know and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.